Challenger. Hey, Frog Prince Runner here, and thank you for dropping by. Well, I have a riddle for you. What is more cringier than a stupid person? Well, the answer is a stupid bubble thumper. And what is even cringier? Well, a smug, stupid bubble thumper. Yes, I know that these type of creatures are fairly common in population, but very few looks this confident and smug with a high like counter. So let's jump into the original video by John McRae. Memes can be these slogans or thoughts or these things that are passed on in culture. And given that my channel is called What Do You Meme, I've seen a fair share of anti-Christian memes in my time. Now, when it comes to these pictured memes, some are decent, making somewhat comical and ironic points, and others, not so much. Bad memes never stop floating around on the internet, and I'm usually shocked at the ones that end up popular. In my view, when it comes to anti-Christian memes, it's usually the worst ones that do. So maybe God really does have a sense of humor. But anyways, I recently came across a meme floating around and it says, according to Genesis, we all come from Adam and Eve who had three sons. Think about it. Take as much time as you need. All right. Well, thankfully we won't need long. So as you can see, the main point of this meme is that since Adam and Eve only had three sons, there wouldn't be any women to make babies with and hence the biblical account is false and ridiculous because after all, it tells us that all of humanity came from just three dudes. Well, my first comment to John would be, your video definitely proves that you do need a lot of time to think about it and maybe you should have done it. His conclusion is the main point of this meme is that since Adam and Eve only had three sons, there wouldn't be any woman to make babies with. Really? Okay, uh, maybe it's because I'm a huge mythology fan and I have read about Oedipus, but it is also popularized by Sigmund Freud in his theory of Oedipus complex. If you're not familiar with it, well, I commend you for your naivety and an apology for introducing this time to you. Oedipus was a mythical Greek king of Thebes. A tragic hero in Greek mythology, Oedipus accidentally fulfilled a prophecy that he would end up killing his father and marrying his mother, thereby bringing disaster to his city and family. The legend of Oedipus has been retold in many versions and was used by Sigmund Freud to name and give mythical precedence to the Oedipus complex. Freud introduced the concept in his Interpretation of Dreams in 1899 and coined the expression in his A Special Type of Choice of Object Made by Men in 1910. The positive Oedipus complex refers to a child's unconscious sexual desire for the opposite sex parent and hatred for the same sex parent. The negative Oedipus complex refers to a child's unconscious sexual desire for the same sex parent and hatred for the opposite sex parent. With that psychoanalytic theory out of the way, the meme doesn't mean that there wouldn't be any woman to make babies with, but that to make any babies, the only viable option is their mother, Eve. So is this guy really that dumb or naive, or just trying to explain Genesis? Us atheists do not need to use this to prove biblical account is false. We have way too many better options. Self plug here, I have some videos on atheism where I covered a lot of those other points. I will just use a clip from my favorite comedian, Bill Hicks. You believe the world's 12,000 years old? That's right. Okay, I got one word to ask you, one word question. Ready? Uh -huh. Dinosaur. <laughs> Back to the meme. This guy is about to completely destroy all of us atheists. So let's see what he has to say. But is this really an obvious biblical blunder found in the Bible? Or is it really just a failure of the atheist to actually read what the Bible says in its full context? Let's see. So if you know anything about the Bible, then you already know that the meme is referencing the story of Adam and Eve found in the book of Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, we do learn that Adam and Eve had three sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth. But guess what else we read in Genesis? In the fifth chapter of the book, we read, After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Other sons and daughters. Wow. Think about that. 
take as much time as you need. Can we all have a slow clap for this guy? From Oedipus, he upgraded himself to an Alabamian. My apology to all from Alabama. That was a throwback of an article published by a satirical website Hustlers.com. The article read, Alabama blesses incest marriage between brothers and sisters. Uncle and nieces are now legal. The state's highest court has toppled cultural taboo, legalizing a degree of incest between brothers and sisters and uncles and nieces in an anonymous ruling. Judge James Hamilton of the Court of Apples wrote, such unions were lawful in Alabama until 1890. With that mandatory reference out of the way, John really put us all in our place, didn't he? So, listen up people. Adam and Eve's son did not have sex with their mother. They had sex with their sisters. That is so much better, right? Right? Apologies website Bible Study Tools has some interesting insight from their article. As established, we don't know when Adam and Eve started having daughters or for that matter whether Abel had a wife and children unmentioned in the narrative. We also know that Adam was 130 years old when Seth was born. So there could have been several generations of people born in between Genesis 4.1 and Genesis 4.17, the first time that Cain's wife is mentioned. Therefore, we don't know whether Cain or Seth married their direct siblings. One of them might have done so and the other married a niece or a cousin. Regardless, sure math would indicate that at least one of Adam's three sons married a sister. This idea is disturbing and goes against the laws forbidding incest in Leviticus 18. However, prior to this law being given in Leviticus, there are various instances of men marrying their sisters or other relatives. Abraham's wife Sarah was his half-sister by a different mother. Jacob married two of his female cousins. Moses' father married his aunt. For whatever reason, the law against incest doesn't seem to have been in effect, at least not as strictly, before God made the covenant with the Israelites at Mount Sinai. Why this shift occurred is hard to say. Since Genesis describes all that was created in the Garden of Eden as good, including Adam and Eve, their genes may have been well developed to the point that their kids could marry siblings and produce children with no genetic defects. Well, credit where credit is due. They are quite good when trying to explain a man-made fiction into reality. Well, news flash for you, John. Us atheists have probably read the Bible more than most of you. Thus, we can point out all the silliness that you all seem to gross over. From racist, sexist, homophobic and misogynist God who purposefully sets up his own creation for failure, knowing in full advance to what is to happen. To incest, more killing, torture, the list is limitless. Maybe it's time to let it go? Well, that's all for today. If you find it worthy, please leave a like and even share it around. If you want to be super awesome, please consider subscribing and so on. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated and helpful for growth of my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are, have a safe day. Signing off.